LGBTQ plus leaders are officially recognising paedophiles as part of the club, following world economic forum pressure to accept minor attracted persons as legally protected minorities. According to the WEF, criticising paedophiles is hate speech, and governments must crack down on anybody who refuses to accept minor attracted persons in their community. As children are paraded in front of paedophiles at pride festivals around the world, it's time to make a stand and protect our children from the monsters who are determined to prey on them without any consequences. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the People's Voice Locals community for exclusive and uncensored content. The global elite are pouring funding into paedophilia advocacy groups as the effort to normalize and legalize the molestation of children continues full steam ahead. Want to see what the global elite's paedophilic fever dreams look like in the cold light of day? Hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayer money is being spent on pro-paedophilia groups in WF-infiltrated Canada, while ordinary hard-working families struggle to put food on the table amid an orchestrated cost-of-living crisis. Paedophiles have been emboldened by the elite. On June the 12th, a woman named Shana called into the iHeartRadio Bex and Buster show and declared her unwavering support for paedophiles urging society to abolish the stigma that surrounds them. It just so happens that Shana works for the International Paedophile and Child Emancipation Organization, a well-funded group that's working for the so-called emancipation of paedophiles and the children who these sickos believe want to have sexual relationships with them. I work with IPCE. If you don't know, that's International Pedophile and Child Emancipation. And our goal is to abolish the stigmatization of people with pedophilic sexual interests and normalizing the potential role in moderating pedophiles' emotional well-being. I know that's a mouthful. Wait, the, the, before uh, okay. we get any further. What are we saying right now? Yeah, this this is sounds disgusting. Are you saying you're a pedophile? No, I'm not saying that I'm a pedophile <clears throat> in the sense that I've never had sexual relations with a person under age. But they, you're uh, saying we should accept pedophiles? Because that's illegal. Well, I just don't believe we should be shunning those in our community that have desires to engage in a romantic relationship with someone in a drastically different age group. So you're saying you support pedophiles? I'm saying I support love. Okay. And just because America views ages like 18 as some sort of imaginary bar or a line in the sand for humans to engage in romantic relationships doesn't mean it's right. So you don't I see mean, anything other- wrong with a 20-year-old dating a 12-year-old? That's not what I'm saying, but listen, in in Nigeria, the age of consent is 11. It's 14 in other countries like Brazil, Colombia. If we're taking, excuse me, if we're taking a month as a country to showcase our pride for other communities of sexual exploration, then I think we should add the letter P, which is just as important as the L, G, B, and T. Shayna and her co-conspirators at the IPCE are not alone. Children have become a regular sight in sexually charged contexts at pride festivals around the world. In Spain, children were forced to take part in pro-pedophilia events wearing lingerie, garter belts and bondage gear, with rainbow pride flags attached to their backs. Everyone involved in this should be arrested. They want your children. They've said it and now they're showing you. They aren't joking. Anybody who thinks Jeffrey Epstein had the only island where children are trafficked to paedophiles needs to wake up and smell the coffee. These monsters have been emboldened to the point where they're now comfortable showing their faces and demanding their so-called rights to have sexual relationships with our children. Are we going to allow this to continue? Today's sponsor is Liver Medic. If you think the supplements you are getting from big box retailers are doing you any good, think again. Did you know that most of the retailers in America are owned and controlled by the same handful of companies that control everything? But we have a choice. Liver Medic's leaky gut repair is aimed at the millions of people suffering from all forms of digestive discomfort. Their safe and efficacious natural product is physician grade with no toxic fillers. It coats while repairing the digestive lining. Best of all, unlike Big Pharma's offerings, it actually works. Join me and millions of other Americans who are voting with our dollars by supporting an American company that truly cares about our health. Save up to 15% on a three month supply by using our code People's Voice by visiting livermedic.com forward slash step forward slash leaky gut special 
or by clicking on the link below this video. Take back control of your health, protect your family from the global elite, and hit them where it really hurts. Visit livermedic.com forward slash step forward slash leaky gut special or click the link below this video to find out more. In a world where the left is pushing for everything to become politically correct, paedophiles on social media are seizing the opportunity to rebrand themselves as maps and demand acceptance by society. The online paedophile community has constructed their own flag and often describe their attraction to children as sexual orientation rather than a scientifically recognized mental illness. Democrat politicians are not far behind. Kentucky Democrat Senator Karen Berg says, paedophiles must not be put in prison and should instead be given child sex dolls to, and I quote, give them a release. For people who are attracted to minors, that these dolls actually decrease their proclivity to go out and attack children, that it actually gives them a release Democrats like Karen are sexualizing children and defending pedophiles. Make no mistake, the rot starts at the very top. As much as the media and fact checkers try to obscure the truth, we know for a fact that Obama flew $65,000 worth of so-called hot dogs and pizza for a private White House party using clandestine channels. We also know, thanks to WikiLeaks emails, that the FBI has identified hot dogs and pizza as pedophile code words with hot dogs being code for young boys and pizza for young girls. As you may have guessed, there are no publicly available images or information about this hot dog and pizza party. Obama also allowed his teenage daughter, Malaya, to intern with convicted rapist and alleged pedophile Harvey Weinstein. The globalist elite gets off on hiding in plain sight, which is the only way to understand why Obama also publicly exchanged a children's friendship bracelet with a pedophilia-themed pizza charm on it with then-Vice President Joe Biden. According to the mainstream media, two men sharing a bracelet, which was later confirmed by the FBI to contain paedophilia symbols, is completely normal. They also claim that Biden's daughter Ashley's teenage diary, which outs her father as a predatory paedophile, is nothing to get hot and bothered about. And every time Biden sniffs, gropes and makes inappropriate comments to a young girl, the media runs a prepared series of articles defending his behavior and attacking those who claim we should be asking serious questions about the predilections of this man. This is the new normal, and plowing ahead at full steam, just how the globalist elite planned. But don't take my word for it. Carlin Georgescu, the former president of the Club of Rome and executive director of the United Nations, is one of the most well-placed and high-profile whistleblowers in global elite history. That's why the mainstream media are determined to silence him and ensure he never has the chance to share with the masses what he knows from personal experience about the paedophile elite. Georgescu is a real UN insider, and he explains that a shadowy cabal of paedophiles at the highest level of politics, finance, and the entertainment industry use their power to hide the sickening crimes they commit against children. The UN agenda is the same with Davos agenda. Mm -hmm. This, in fact, is my main topic for our conversation today. The problem is that these oligarchs, all of them, are related with the... Um, system of the pedophilia one because we know that there are more than 8 million children per year which they disappear 8 million does mean the entire population of austria mm -hmm. they disappear without any information mm -hmm. simply like that there's just one problem for schwab and the other reprobates who crawl the halls of his globalist headquarters in Davos. We will never allow his sick agenda to infiltrate our culture. This is a hill we're willing to die on. These are critical times and here at The People's Voice, we're determined to expose the elite and hold them to account before it's too late. Join us in our mission to wake up the masses by subscribing to the channel and joining The People's Voice locals community to join our amazing team. I hope to see you there. Today's video is brought to you by IPv6ers. Are you a content creator who wants to publish information online without Big Brother spying and censoring your every move? 
IPv6 is a set to revolutionize the way information is disseminated on the internet by eliminating the need for big tech companies to provide unreliable, overpriced services such as self-hosting, email, and data management. ipv 6 enables an easy and accessible way for you to host your own web and email server with direct end-to-end -end connections and enhanced security. This means no snooping from Big Brother and no interference from the technocratic elite. If Hillary Clinton can get away with running her own server, why shouldn't you? Go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 to sign up, or click the link below this video to take back control of the internet and win the info wars against the globalists. If you like our content, help support our sponsor IPv6ers and go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 today. Thank you IPv6ers for making this video possible.